In this video, we'll demonstrate how to connect your PC to your Happy Japan embroidery machine using a USB cable. And by USB cable, we mean the type uh, with a USB 2 type uh, connector like this, and with the other end, a D-shaped connector, just like you would a printer cable. This end of that cable connects um, with a touchscreen machine to so the left side of the control panel. Just behind this bezel is a USB port and a network port. The USB port is the lower port, and that's what this connects to on this side. On the other side, you can choose uh, either a USB-C or a 1.5 or a 2, and that can connect to your PC. If your PC like this one happens to have only USB-C type ports, the smaller ones, you'll need to obtain a hub or a converter that will convert this larger rectangular port to the smaller uh, USB-C type port. In the box or crate that came with your machine, look for a manila envelope like this, inside of which you'll find a small USB thumb drive that contains software and the manuals for your machine. Go ahead and insert that into your PC. Upon inserting the USB stick provided with your embroidery machine, you can either go into Windows Explorer or you may automatically see the components of that USB stick pop up. You should see the following, a folder for Adobe Reader, a folder called a Manual and Parts List, which contains the parts manual and the operator's manual for your machine in PDF format. You'll also see a third folder called Application. Click into the Application folder to access the install software for your Happy Link and Happy Land programs. Look for the application called INST HPY shown here. Right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Say yes to allow the app to make changes to your device. And you'll see the following launch splash screen appear in front of you. You'll need to install two components. Number one is the Happy Link program itself. If you're connecting by a USB cable, install the Happy Link installation program. Secondly, after you've installed that, you'll install the 64-bit driver for Windows 7, 8, 10, and also Windows 11. We'll first install Happy Link. Click on the install program. Click on the button. The installation of Happy Link is continued. And the program installs very quickly. Next, go ahead and install the 64-bit drivers. Click on it. And it's going to warn you that the driver is more than one component. Click OK. And just look in the prompts to make sure that you see two components installed. First, make sure, according to the warning, that your USB cable is not connected between the PC and your happy machine. And we'll continue. Following the prompts. And once we're finished installing the first component, you'll see that the second component will begin to install. And that's all you need to do with the installation program. We'll now go ahead and connect this to the USB port and power on the machine. The machine can also be powered on already when you make the connection. Just make sure that you've already installed the drivers before you do this step. Before finalizing your connection, make sure that the machine is in drive mode. So in this case, we're at the splash screen, press next. And now this happy machine is in drive mode or sewing mode. This is the only screen in which the machine will communicate with your Happy Link program on your PC. Once you've connected the USB cable and the machine is in drive mode, go ahead and launch the Windows Device Manager. You can access it by clicking on the Windows flag at the bottom left and literally typing in Device Manager. It'll even pop up. Click on it to launch it. And the driver is correctly installed. You should now see your Happy Embroidery Machine under Ports Common LPT. So click on that category and the caret beside it to expand it 
And you should see a USB serial device as shown here. It may even be called Happy Embroider Machine or it could just be USB serial device. Note the COM port number. In this case, it shows eight. That's all we need to do is find out which COM port number has been assigned to the machine by the device manager. Next, launch your Happy Link program. You can click on the Windows flag and just type in Happy Link. And if you have it installed, it will show up. And however you launch the program, right click on it rather than left click and choose Run as Administrator. It is important that you launch the Happy Link application as Administrator. When the program comes up, the first thing you'll want to do is go to File and then Options. And if this is the first time you've done it, this may automatically happen when it first pops up with Happy Link. It'll ask you for the communication type and you want to set it to USB COM and then choose the port number, in this case 8, and click OK. At this point, you should be able to communicate directly with the machine and send designs. So as a test, go to File and then Pattern Open and pick a design to load. And the design will appear in shades of gray. If you want to, you can set the colors for that design. Once you set the colors for the design, when you send the design, the color commands will also send over to the machine. When you're ready, find the icon at the top that looks like a computer with an arrow pointing to it and press send pattern. You'll hear the machine beep and a progress bar will appear. When the design is transferred, you see a complete message. Here's what a successful transfer looks like on the machine side. Again, clicking the Pattern Send button, you'll see a message appear on the screen showing that it's reading, and then after a few seconds, the design will appear in color.